Welcome to Short View Trading. This is your morning market hit for Monday, 14th of March. What's going to be the focus of markets this week? Well, if you look at it, financial conditions have been tightening over recent trading sessions. That's been a key concern for market participants. Look at the Goldman Sachs US Financial Conditions Index we're putting up in front of you now. You can see quite a sharp tightening on this chart over recent weeks. And part of what's been driving that, no doubt, has been the high yield spreads in the US and the Eurozone. As you can see in the chart in front of you now, they've been picking up and widening those spreads, adding to that tightening of financial conditions that you see in that Goldman Sachs index. And the dollar also, of course, has been strong. It's another indication of risk aversion, a rising dollar in markets. You can see dollar, US dollar futures trading up close to 100 last week and not far off the, those levels at the moment, trading about 98.9 at the time that we're recording this video. So there's clearly been a tightening of financial conditions. Rising energy prices adds to that. Let's get some perspective. If you zoom out on these financial conditions and look at longer term charts, you can see in front of you now, the pickup is, yes, of course, meaningful, but in context of where it's been over recent years and recent decades, it's not troubling at all. In fact, it's up from extremely low, clearly major record low levels that it's been at over recent months. So yes, it's a bit of a concern, but that's the perspective that we should think about it in. Added to which, of course, this makes the Fed meeting on Wednesday all the more important. Jerome Powell and team meeting Tuesday and Wednesday, announcing 7 p.m. London time on their interest rate decision. No doubt they'll be raising rates by 25 basis points. That's widely expected in markets. What will be closely watched is what do the dot plots say? What do the summary of economic projections say? And of course, what do we get out of that press conference? What's the, the nature of the tone? That'll be watched closely. Indeed, how does Powell thread the needle between the growth and the inflation risks that are building out there? But equally important is what happens to oil prices and other energy prices. They peaked at the early last week. We saw intraday Brent oil prices get up to 139 bucks on Monday last week and ease quite meaningfully over the course of the week. They're now trading off overnight on the back of the Chinese news out of Shenzhen with another lockdown and also perhaps on some expectations that negotiations are making some progress. Difficult to be certain how much and whether that's enduring, but clearly the oil price is off meaningfully from its highs. And one of the big questions for market participants is do they get back to their levels at the start of this month or indeed back below $100 per barrel? And then in terms of thinking about one to two week trades on markets, which is the essence of our daily rag publication, where we give explicit one to two week recommendations on equity index futures on that time frame, typically on the S&P 500 equity futures, but sometimes on the NASDAQ, the DAX, the FTSE, the Russell and other equity indices. Our models in that respect are very key, our one to two week market timing models, what the risk appetite models say, what the put to call ratios say, what momentum technical models say, all of these types of models that we assess each and every day in the Daily Rag publication, which is available to subscribers via the website. Or if you're interested in a seven day free trial, please click on the link below add your name and email address, no credit card details required, and we'll send you the daily rate for free for seven trading sessions. So that's it from us. That's your morning market focus update for Monday the 14th of March. Please do subscribe to these videos on YouTube. Simply search under Shortwood Trading or follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter and or Facebook. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. Trade well.